my name is Reggie LaBerge. I am the owner and creative director of Reggie LaBerge Writing and Publishing, and I'm so excited to be here with my friend today. Around the office, we call him the real Forrest Gump. Uh, would you care to introduce yourself to our readers and tell them about the title of your book? Thanks, Reggie. Um, I'm, my name is Ian McFarlane. I'm actually from Australia, but have been living in the U.S. now for about 38 years. The title of the book is The Power of I Am, So I Can. How to use your life experiences to drive your life legacy. In the past year, we never ran out of stories. <laughs> we're, we're, there's still more content out there. Um, why don't you share a little bit about what is in this book? Tell us a little summary of the power of I am so I can. Uh, yeah, I, I believe communications is based on story. Storytelling is communications. So I've enjoyed the time we spent together yeah. telling stories, <laughs> sort of story dump. Uh, and then, then we put it into the concept of what the book is about. If I summarize it into one statement, one benefit, it's your present future mindset. Everything that this relates to and talks about for the future is the true value of having a present mindset where you are thinking about where you want to get to and how you're going to get there and what results you're looking for. As I look through this book, uh, so many great stories, but what is the positive impact that you're really looking to make with The Power mm -hmm. of I Am So I Can? I, I really wanted to record um, the, el the areas of my life and maybe my achievements and uh, impacts that I've made for my family. Uh, and in particular, um, I'm really uh, launching this on my 50th wedding anniversary oh. as a dedication to my wife wow. for 50 years. So it's really for the family. Uh, my parents wrote two books about our family history, so I'm really just following on from what they established as you know, providing information for the family. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm hopeful that uh, my, you know, my clients, uh, people I've worked with, my friends can read this and maybe uh, learn from that of how I have always focused on how to look to the future, how to generate results, how to live a life that I choose to live. So you talked about your parents uh, both writing books mm -hmm. and I'm sure there are a lot of other lessons that they gave you. Is there something specific either from them or from somebody else that really impacted you to drive toward creating this book? Yeah, uh, My parents, they're the ones that had the, uh, the major impact uh, on who I am, who I became, and how it came about is that from the time I was very young, uh, if I took an exam or if I competed in something or if I went to the Boy Scouts and I was to uh, qualify for badges, whenever I ever came home from an activity, uh, they always asked me the question, did you do your best? And following that night, hopefully, most times, if not all times, I would love to have said, yes, I did my best. But there was always a follow-up question, and the question was, what would you do differently next time to get better results? So as I say, that's my DNA for everything I've done in my life. So it covers yeah, my personal, my professional, my family. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the way I like to uh, feel that I'm always choosing to find a way to do something better. So we, uh, we always like to have a little fun with our clients, and so I've got our fun question for you. Um, if you could meet anybody in history and ask them a question, who would it be and what would your question be? Uh, in Australia, we are a country that um, was started as a convict settlement, a, a penal colony. And in our history, my parents discovered and have written a book about the fact that my father's great-great-grandfather, my great-great-great-grandfather, <laughs> was actually sent to Australia as a convict. He was a Scot. And uh, he was one of the leaders of the Scottish uh, rebellion against the English, got captured, got sent to Australia as a convict. The question I'd really like to know about is, what was it like as a convict in the early settlement of Australia? It has been so much fun creating this memoir slash lifetime story slash business resource with yeah. you. Ian, gosh, thank you. Thank you so much for letting me be a part of this project with you. I also want to thank uh, friends. I want to thank clients. I want to thank so many people that have been part of the stories uh, because without them, 
I couldn't put the stories together. Uh, so yes, I've got so many people uh, that I do want to thank. Uh, I want to thank you because uh, uh, it's it's a daunting task to say I'm going to write a book, um, <laughs> and I knew I had content, but I didn't have the actual um, you know the, the, the skills or the or the uh, methods of how do you put it all together to make it impactful. Uh, I really uh, um, hope that a number of people, either for personal reasons or business reasons, can get benefits about the life and experience I've had and how I've turned them into a life of achievement in the business world and the various tools of business which I discuss in the book to help others in their businesses. Absolutely. Thanks so much, Ian. Good. Thanks, Rachel.